What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. This morning we're going to be cooking a breakfast burrito on the Blackstone. Let's do it. So let's go through our ingredients, ladies and gentlemen. We've got, starting at the bottom right, we've got some hickory bacon strips, center cut thick. I'm going to use three strips. We've got some mild cheddar shredded cheese. Uh, on the left there, we've got some yellow bell peppers. We've got uh, a small, small onion chopped, diced up nicely. I've got a couple of medium potatoes peeled and chopped up nicely. And I've got three eggs scrambled uh, with a little bit of milk in them. Fluff them up a little bit. And then our seasonings, salt, pepper, garlic, and some water for steaming and some oil. And that is it. Pretty simple breakfast burrito. Grill is cranked up. I do the hand test. Sometimes I like getting out my little thermostat, my digital read thermometer, thermostat, thermometer. Which one is it? Thermostat? Thermometer. I'm not sure. I think it's thermometer. Digital instant read thermometer. We'll go with that. Uh, <laughs> other times I just like to put my hands over it and feel it. And if it feels pretty hot, it's pretty hot. So we're gonna put our bacon down and three strips, center cut, thick sliced bacon. This bacon's beautiful. And I figured out how to keep it on low, medium and high for this cook. If you watch my videos, you'll know a couple videos ago, I was having a problem with that, but this one I kind of figured it out. So anyway, bacon's down, you can hear it sizzling. And we have it on low to low medium, not high. And we're gonna let these sizzle and get nice and, uh, nice and crispy. So up next, we're going to put our potatoes on right next to the bacon. Put some olive or some oil down first. Not much, not much oil at all. They doesn't take much here. That's what's so great about this Blackstone. You really don't need much oil. So even though it's fried food, technically, it's kind of like a pan fried almost even less if you want to think about it that way that's it that's all the oil I use right there where you just saw which was not much at all so we put down our potatoes spread them out a little bit and we're gonna add our spices start with some pepper or I'm sorry salt a little bit of salt there Some fresh ground pepper. I like a lot of pepper. A little bit of garlic. About a palmful there. And finally, some paprika. Give it some nice, beautiful color. So you want to make sure you put down your potatoes first because they take the longest to cook, basically. The bacon will be done before the potatoes, but that's okay. You want that bacon grease on there because it tastes good for the other items you're going to cook. But you flip the bacon, potatoes are on. And we're going to definitely uh, steam them up here in a second. But first we're going to add our 
diced onions and yellow bell peppers. We'll mix them all up, get them nice and friendly. Get them in a nice neat pile here for our grill dome, which is probably one of my favorite accessories so far for the Blackstone. I'm surprised Blackstone does not make this accessory. Blackstone has the round ones, but they do not have the dome shaped, which this is just a Walmart special, $9.97. That's where I got it. I get a lot of comments, people asking me where I got this thing, and let me tell you, it works great. That little rubber handle up top. <laughs> you know how many times I burn myself with the tin foil pans? And this thing is, uh, it works really well. So we'll flip our bacon again and keep on cooking. So the bacon, you want to keep an eye on it. I turned it up a little bit. I just turned it right back down a little bit because it, it, it cooks pretty quick and I like to turn it often. Uh, when it starts getting hot, you know, just move it over to a cooler spot on the grill. And same thing with these potatoes. You don't want them to sit too long. Um, I'd say every two to three minutes, I like to stir them up to make sure they're not getting fried on the bottom. Um, it's good to have them crispy, don't get me wrong, but you do not want them burnt, and they will burn quick if you don't uh, have it on the right temperature. So, a couple minutes went by. Just a nice, quick stir them up. Get them back in a nice, happy pile. A little more water. Put that grill dome back on. And cover them up in another couple minutes. We'll check them again. And repeat. We turn the bacon again. And these things are looking beautiful. You can see that white sizzle coming in. That's pretty much when you know they are just about done. So At this point I turn them off because they are done. So I decided to move the bacon over. I put it all the way to the left. Even though I turned it off, that center still gets hot because the other side is on and the center is kind of a hot spot for this particular griddle. Um, so I just move them over. They'll stay nice and warm over there, but they won't get overcooked. They'll be, they'll be great. Let's check the potatoes um, here to see if they're almost done. It's been about six minutes. So I check them and they're not done. They're still hard. So they, potatoes usually take close to 10 minutes. I would say eight to 10 minutes, depending on the temperature and you know, the, the conditions covered, steamed, how big of the, uh, how big they're, they're, they're diced or whatnot. Uh, but typically, Potatoes this size take about a good 10 minutes to get nice and cooked thoroughly through where they're not raw on the inside and they're nice and uh, nice and done. So we steam them back up another two, three minutes and we'll check them again. All right, let's check them again. It's been another two, three minutes. So now you kind of just poke down in the potatoes and you'll know, you'll see them come right apart and that's when you know they're done. So we give it one more, uh, one more stir, spread them out, get them nice and flat here. And I am bored again, so I'm gonna play a little bit of food art. I'm not a very good artist. Actually, I am a very good artist, but I'm just learning with the food, so. Bear with me here. <laughs> Let's see what I come up with.
Oh, am I making another lion or a tiger? Mm, I'm not sure. Looks like it kind of, and it kind of, I don't know, I'm not sure what we're doing here. It's just kind of getting messy. I didn't plan this one ahead. This was just kind of like a spontaneous uh, artwork here. Let's see if you can tell what it is. Here we go. Uh-oh. Eggs in. Look at that. Getting creative. Pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to move the camera so you can see what I'm going for here. You can tell me in the comments what you think it is. Ah, oh, come on. It's a heart. You don't have to tell me in the comments. <laughs> so yes, it is a heart and now it is gone. So we stir these up, mix them up, scramble them up, mix them all in with the potatoes and the onions and peppers, get them all nice and combined with those ingredients and wow this is going to be a great breakfast burrito. You want to make sure you chop them up a little bit, uh, you don't want any raw spots in the middle so chop them up, flatten them out. and. So we get them nice and cooked through all the way. So after you let it sit for a little bit, you want to turn them kind of like you're flipping an omelet. Obviously there's potatoes in there as well. You just want to make sure they're cooked evenly on both sides. And you can tell that's it's uh, even though there's three eggs in there it doesn't look like there is but there's a lot of eggs in there so that's it they're done take them off we're gonna put them in a foil pan over here so it takes time to build your burrito so what I did here was I put them in the foil pan and once I got them in there, I put the bacon in there as well. Right here, you'll see me grabbing the bacon, which looks amazing. Put the bacon in there as well, and then just grab some heavy duty tin foil, and you wanna wrap them up in that tin foil. That'll keep them nice and hot. So that gives you time to clean the grill a little bit, um, put your uh, burritos down and get those nice and hot and then uh, and then build the burrito so we give the grill a quick scrape just get all those pieces off there not a major cleaning at this point just a quick scrape and uh, just want, you, know, you want a bunch of stuff stuck to your to your burrito that you're gonna heat up here and it literally takes what, 25 seconds and that's it that's all you need and then you just plop your burrito down right here plop so you let that burrito heat up for about 15 seconds and really that's all it takes flip it over another 10 seconds and you're done now we build you put your base layer of that beautiful egg potato, onion, pepper, mixture, nice and hot and steamy because you cover it up with that tin foil. And that's your base layer. Then you add some cheddar cheese, a lot of it. 
And finally, the bacon. Three big strips, center cut, thick bacon, nice and crispy. And that's it, you wrap this thing up. And it's nice and hot, so it's gonna melt that cheese. And this thing is gonna be absolutely delicious. Hoo-wee! We got ourselves a breakfast burrito. Let's cut it in half and see what we got. Feel that crispy bacon. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Time talking on this one. That is muy delicioso. Sorry. <laughs> you got your eggs, you got your bacon, you got your potatoes, you got your peppers, onions, cheese. Oh, this tastes delicious. So, super easy to make. You guys can whip this up in no time. A little bit of prep work, no big deal on the Blackstone. And once again, thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat. <laughs>